already over it. <laughs> What's up everyone? It's your girl Stephanie and today I have my yearly gift guide for y'all. You know, if there's one thing I, I'm consistent about, it is my gift guide. Um, <laughs> and I feel like I show y'all some pretty great stuff. Actually, no, that's facts. Every year I get comments saying, that I am showing things that are not in typical gift guides. All right, so let's dive in. Uh, the first section of items, kind of like, I guess, self-care beauty. And I do have a sponsor for this video, and that is Lilo. They are a sex toy company. NSFW. I've made the mistake of just like not giving y'all a pause. <laughs> I got so many messages saying that they're like watching the video with their family. It was like on the TV. So I feel like I hope that this was enough seconds. Okay. <laughs> we good. All right. So, um, Lilo is a company that I have worked with, man, a few times, I think over the years, super high quality products. I have personally purchased uh, the Lilo Sona 2. I think I've purchased five now as gifts. I had it as like a prize for my sister's um, bridal shower. And actually, <laughs> funny enough, my mom won it. Um, that's a whole other thing. Um, but I have purchased a lot from Lilo to gift two friends because I've like raved about it so much. Uh, but this is a brand new little gadget. This is the Lilo Dot. This is a pinpoint clitoral stimulator, which means it can induce multiple orgasms by concentrating its power on a small pleasure point, which allows you to control the intensity and build up towards orgasm. As you can see, this is a real soft, bendable tip. Uh, which gives you a lot of control over the intensity, where you're hitting, the angle. Also, I just like can't stop staring at this thing because it, it just looks like a piece of modern art, doesn't it? <laughs> also, something that I didn't mention, Lilo products are just like really quiet. Super, super quiet. I've been used to very high quality products, so. That's something that I very much appreciate. So click that link below to check out the Lilo Dot. And right now, if you spend over $179, you can get a free Sona. Don't pass this up. How does this dog make me feel so guilty for absolutely nothing? Look at this face. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we are moving on. This is a canopy humidifier. This is an evaporative device, meaning no mist actually comes out of the humidifier, just hydrated, clean air. When you have a humidifier that steams, it can actually be a place where mold can grow, bacteria. So the technology involved with this humidifier means that it actually combats that. When I first started using it, it made a big difference within that first week. I felt like my skin just felt more comfortable. A very practical, very useful gift. Okay, we've got a couple of devices here that I've actually been, I use them every day, at least one of them every single day. These two are by Solowave. So we'll talk about this one here first. The Advanced Skincare Wand with Red Light Therapy. Red light is just great for a lot of skin issues. We're talking fine lines, dark spots, blemishes. When my skin was irritated, kind of raised, this actually helped calm my skin down a bit. Combined with the red light, it also has a microcurrent, which is supposed to help like serums and everything really like go into the skin. I pretty much use this every night. And then I've also started using it in the daytime too. <laughs> Humidifier. This guy, I feel like has really helped with the um, the roughness because of the eczema here. So if you know somebody who's uh, having issues with discoloration or just like a skincare enthusiast, a beauty person, I think that this is such a good gift. The other item I have here is this, look how cute this thing is. This is the Solowave Bi Acne 3-Minute <laughs> Light 
Therapy Spot Treatment. So this one not only has red light, it also has blue light in there to spot treat blemishes at any stage. Most of my pimples, I feel like they don't just stay under the surface, but the other day I had one that was really painful and it was coming up and it actually went back down, which I thought was amazing. Yeah, if you have a friend who has acne, I feel like this is a great little device. I will say this one's my number one if I had to choose, but I think this one is definitely pricier. They're both great little devices though, for sure. I bought a few more pairs of Bombas. I included them in my last gift guide. I was able to get my hands on some more of these Merino gripper house socks. I think last year I could only, I got two pairs and I got a three pack this time. I'm the kind of person I like to wear just socks in the house, but the problem with that is when you're always wearing socks, just bare, you get a lot of holes in them. And these ones have these little grippy guys on the bottom. So one, you're not slipping around. I actually have gotten so used to this like grippy stuff that when I wear just normal socks sometimes, I'm like, whoa. I will say uh, my ones from last year, which I wear all the time, I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> Look at that. Perfect. I wear them so much. Um, also, my other Bombas that are just regular socks, which I do wear all the time as well, none of them have holes. <laughs> um, I'm definitely in an age now where somebody gifted me some socks, I would be stoked. Definitely Bombas. And of course, for every sock purchase, they <laughs> donate a pair. I think that's a great uh, business plan in general. I will continue to support Bombas. <laughs> You're really actually getting a glimpse into my life here because this is, this is totally normal. But it's really cute every time. So I purchased this next item for myself a couple of years ago. Um, I used it a bunch and then I dropped it. So this is a new one for me that I purchased over Black Friday. Um, this is the Kodak Doc Plus photo printer. I'm really not sure how I would compare it to going to CVS. It is a little bit below that. And for some reason, some photos are like, it just won't do filters or something. But I feel like that happens at CVS as well. There is something different about having framed photos, which I am gonna talk about in a second. I've also been using this for different projects. I've been making these little photo pendants. I've made uh, a few at this point. I think I've gotten the method down, but obviously you have to print the photo to a very specific size. So being able to print the photos from home, I get to do a little trial and error. I'm not sure if I show these in, in video yet. I feel like a nice framed photo is always a beautiful gift and you can do it really, really cheap. I bought these frames from Goodwill. And so what I did pretty much is, I'll show you two examples of how they looked before. Here's this like gold one. And I, I've actually taped them off so I can spray paint them. It's like a ceramic, it has a ceramic little crackle guy. I mean this frame on its own, or this one even too, both of them, super cute on its own, but if you wanted to personalize a little bit, this is pretty much the same as this frame, some spray paint, straight up just, I did a base coat, this blue. I painted on the clouds with just some acrylic paint. And then I did seal it with a clear coat spray paint. This one, I feel like you could imagine how this looked uh, underneath. It was kind of like that very farmhouse vibes. And I just brightened it up and painted over all the designs that were already there. So just as another photo idea, um, on the, on the cheaper side and if you wanted to customize it a bit. Weirdly enough, another photo thing, I guess, you know, this year's may be very sentimental. So um, on the higher end, um, I have a couple of these Aura little guys. <laughs> I have two of them here. I bought these ones for Michael's parents. I pretty much, I collected all the photos from all of his friends and family and like his baby photos and stuff. So. Um, I just wanted to 
load them up onto here because I actually was gonna do a couple albums, but then they were just so many, I didn't wanna pick and choose. Um, so this way, you know, I could put all of them. Even though it's a very highly advertised item, I think it is a really, obviously, a very meaningful gift and it's important to surround yourself with memories, like happy memories with people, you know? So I'm excited to give this to Bill and Carol. Really hope that they didn't just watch this. New favorite like home item is this right here. And you might think that's just a regular lamp. No, it's not. It's a candle warming lamp. I don't know why recently I've gotten so paranoid about lighting candles and, and forgetting it. I just, I've become a lot more forgetful than I was in the past. I bought this one from Amazon Prime a couple days ago and it was the only one that was gonna get here in time. It was actually like next day. And all the other ones were like next week or coming today. I'm gonna link a couple that I saw that I thought were so cute, like the one that was gonna arrive today, but I didn't know what time. But pretty much, it uses this little light bulb in there. I'm not exactly sure. They gave me two, which is nice. Um, and it just warms the wax in your candle and actually diffuses the scent. And you can see here, actually, the this candle I have is a diptyque one. If I would have just lit this, it it would have gone out so fast but this lamp has actually given a lot more longevity to this candle. I do find that diptyque candles, they're super strong, right? That's actually what turns me off from candles sometimes because you light it for like 10 minutes and you're like, oh, okay, that's a lot. And then you have to blow it out. I feel like this lamp actually diffuses a scent in a, in a more subtle way, but a steady and subtle, and it, it's just very pleasant. For any candle lover, in your life or for somebody who buys expensive candles, this thing is a really great gift. We got a mirror, everyone. This is the Ricky Skinny Mirror. This is a like wireless rechargeable LED light mirror. It is just a regular mirror, but with this little guy, which is magnetic, you can put your phone in there, take selfies, record yourself putting on some makeup, it really is a skinny mirror too, because look at that. It really, like, it's very space efficient. I guess the only qualm that I have is I do wish that it would go lower, because even the lowest brightness when I'm, like, looking into it is kind of a lot. Um, and I wish that you could do, like, a warmer light setting. The cool light can be a bit much to, again, like, look into for prolonged periods of time, but... All in all, this thing's a great mirror. All right, we have a kid section, okay? I got a nephew. Well, he's my cousin's son, but my, my big cousin, he's pretty much my brother. So I call him my nephew. He is turning four, actually like next week. This is the Discovery line of toys. This line has the coolest stuff, but they're actually very high quality and useful items. They're learning, it looks good. This is a little globe that I got him. I wanted to open it up, but it's like packaged really nicely. But pretty much this globe is so cool because it'll show day and night and the like major population centers glow with the LED lights when it's nighttime. The other thing that I got for Nathan that I didn't realize he was gonna love this so much, but um, apparently he uses it like every single day is this little projector that I got him and it projects stars, like constellations, planets, and he just loves sitting in the dark and like looking at it. If you're looking for gifts for like a toddler, this line is awesome. <gasps> okay, it's not that heavy, but it's just awkward to hold. This is a sparkling water maker. This one is by Philips. The more popular one, or the most popular one, I would say, is Soda Stream. I recently, or like within the last year, started drinking LaCroix. I found myself last couple months, like 
buying so much LaCroix and I felt like it was so wasteful. So I got this for $56 without the canister. I actually had to buy, ooh, I had to buy this separately, which is what is inside here to make the CO2. So the least expensive soda stream, it does come with a canister though, is $90. I purchased the canister from Walmart, I believe. It was not, I don't think it was that expensive. Don't buy it on Amazon. I think it's so much more expensive if you try to buy it on Amazon. So you wanna try and get like a Walmart or CVS or something. So all in all, still less expensive than the cheapest soda stream. And I think that it just looks really nice. The reviews, there's not a lot of US reviews or as much as a lot of like more UK. So maybe this is newer to the US market. Was that enough bubbles? I'm not sure. Carbonated. And additionally, I got this little six pack of these bubbly drops. I haven't tried it yet, so let's let's go. Three fourths of a teaspoon. Okay, I can't go to the kitchen and get a teaspoon, so we're just gonna wing it. Teaspoon is small. Okay. Yeah, okay. Can you all tell me how much you carbonate the water if it's okay for me to like press it down? a couple more times <laughs> I'm just like there was always warnings and I'm like okay I don't want this thing to explode on me mm. if I put it in a little ice that that's good actually hmm. I felt like this was a really nice thing to mention if you have a soda water lover who's still just buying a ton of cans this last human item um Oh good, you're sticking around because you got you got a couple things after this. Okay, so this last item is just like really, I don't know, is it really random? It might be. I've been wanting this thing for a year. It is a, an item of pure convenience. A mini fridge. <laughs> I don't know why it lights up too. Okay, first of all, the purpose of this fridge is for my office. Sometimes I'm drinking a LaCroix. Oh, I guess not anymore. Well, anyways, sometimes drinking that, or I might be drinking a claw, and it's a little annoying to have to go back and forth, back and forth, because I'll, you know, I want to, I, I want to crack a cold one. So I thought I would get this little mini fridge for my office. I have it plugged in right now. It's cold. I want to say I paid twenty something dollars for this. So that's when I was like. Okay, I honestly might put my jade rollers and I have like these little jelly ice packs. I might just put them in here so it doesn't combine with the fridge <laughs> scents and stuff. Okay, so that was my last human item. And of course, because we're through with the human items, Josie has left. Good girl. All right. We got a couple repeat brands, um, but it's because they're that good. And if you're gonna get a pet gift, you might as well get them a hypnotic dog collar, of course. Josie's wearing her classic. I would say the collar that Josie's currently wearing is the one that she wears the most. But I did wanna show you some of these other options. So these are not just decorative. They're real collars. You really can't go wrong. The quality is so incredible. I talked about Hypnotic Dog last year. This is a female owned small business. If you go on their Instagram, like honestly, you think that they're a big company with a lot of, you know, like a factory or something. No, these are handmade. 100% love Hypnotic Dog collars. Um, whenever I bring one out, Josie, she really like, she lets me put it on her. She knows like something exciting is happening. Little Beast. 
my favorite clothes for Josie, okay? I think that um, I showed this one last year. This is her classic cloud. This is the one that Josie's wearing in my favorite photo of us of all time, the Bowie Shoots one. And she's actually wearing her hypnotic dog collar in that photo as well. Checkered green guy. Lil Beach just comes out with like the cutest designs. Look at this little smiley face guy. Striped shirt. I believe all, of, yeah, I checked. All of these are still in sale and there's a variety of sizes. I for sure know in the cloud one, they have all the sizes right now. And this is the cutest puffer of all time. You know, it's difficult for me to find clothes for Josie. This is in a size XL. I think in the other items, she's a large. She's 50 pounds, but she's like very stocky and broad across the shoulders, obviously in the chest. And all these fit her well. This puffer in itself, like the design is so cute. The little colors that they choose, so cute. And this one is reversible. So we have purple and we have pink as well. I think that there's only one size available for this one, but I do know like there's like a green and yellow one, I think, which is my second favorite. And they, I think, have all the sizes in those. That's it. This was a very chaotic gift guide. I apologize for that. I feel like I'm <sighs> being born again into YouTube, but I hope you found this useful. Maybe you wanted to buy some of these things for yourself. Of course, all the links will be down below. The link to Lilo, please click it, will be down below as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see ya in the next one. Bye.